Hey everyone, it's Cade Matter back again, and I'm going to give an updated look on my living room uh, current gen gaming setup here. So here's the look at the overall entertainment area. As usual, I don't have a proper entertainment center. I could just buy one, but I kind of want to move pretty soon, so I don't want to buy any furniture that I don't need right away. So anyways, I'll just go through it and let you know what different stuff is. And then over here is where I sit my ass. I got the, uh, the surround sound speakers on each side, as you can see. So yeah, um, I guess we'll start over here. So, here's all my tools of the trade, and uh, yes, I'm reading Metro 2033, the book that the game was based on. So anyways, got my uh, PS4 controller, uh, black 360 controller that I use for the PC, uh, my digital camouflage PS3 controller, DualShock 3, and uh, my Gears of War 3. 360 controller with the transforming D-pad, which is nice for fighting games, nice and responsive. And then my uh, 5.1 remote and my Sony HDTV and my shitty flip phone, which sucks, but whatever. And then I just got a kind of a basic Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. And then here's my um, my PlayStation Vita in a little clamshell. Oh, and there's me with the camera. Now it's the little clamshell thing that came with Persona 4 Golden. And the touchpad is accessible on the back. And this is just my, uh, um, I think it's called the Crystal Case for PS Vita. It's a nice um, hard case with holds eight games and two memory cards so that's pretty nice and uh, yes I have a back scratcher here this is a this is a very useful tool for any gamer it's got a niche so anyways uh, this is the setup again I still have the uh, the uh, Sony Bravia 32 inch it's only 720p not sure when I'm going to upgrade to 1080p. Probably when I can get something decent for really cheap, like $400. But, which I'm sure there is stuff out. But, yeah. And then, of course, I still have the uh, Beast PC here hooked up. Got the red lighting turned on. Here's my uh, Audio-Technica AT2020 USB condenser mic which is what I use for all my live commentaries and my vocal covers that you can check out on my channel and yeah, there's the Beast and up here is my PlayStation Move controllers my Logitech Z5500 control panel and then uh, my 3DS and its charge dock and over there is this is obviously my charter modem. I get 35 megabit per second download, about 4.2 megabit per second upload. And then just my router, which is, I forget what brand it is. It's just like a basic, what freaking brand? Oh yeah, Netgear. That was like 25 bucks on Amazon. And this big white thing is uh, my cell phone booster because I get terrible reception here so it uses like the internet along with like a little satellite thing that's running up the wall here that gets a signal and if you want to see the back here it is a mess of cables I really would like to organize this at some point point. and of course there's just a mess of cables so many I got so many things hooked up and then right there is my uh, XFi uh, Creative Labs PC 5.1 sound car, and it's really dusty. So yeah, um, and then of course now I've got 
the PS4 setup here. Sitting vertical with the PS3 fat, backwards compatible. PS3. Then I got my slim Xbox 360 with uh, I think it's the 320 gigabyte hard drive I want to say something like that. Um, my hacked uh, Nintendo Wii. And then uh, since my HDTV only has two HDMI outputs, I have this HDMI switcher here. It's pretty nice because it switches automatically depending on what is turned on, but it also has a button on it, as you can see right by the little light there. But, uh, yeah, and then I got my 360 controller charger tucked under there, and my PS3 and PS4 charger cables tucked under there, and my 360 wired mic. And then over here is my 360 battery plain, or not plain charge, quick charge. Thing. I can charge two batteries and then here's where I have my uh, 360 controller wireless receiver for PC which is running over here from my PC and on top of course that's the uh, Hapage HD PVR2 which I record a lot of my gameplays with and then of course we have the Tower of Games all current gen and some handheld stuff on here and yes everything is dusty in here I do dust but like it gets so dusty right away that I just slack on it so yeah got the uh, Sub-Zero and Scorpion bookends from my Mortal Kombat Collector's Edition and you can see Sub-Zero is getting speared by Scorpion through all the collector's editions I have up here. So yeah, I'll go through these. You can kind of see all my collector's editions, including Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, which has a tall case. I pretty much put all the really tall cases up here that don't fit on the shelf very well. So I guess we'll look at them from this side since it's brightest. Here's uh I guess we'll start. I guess we'll start here. 360 games. A lot of collector's editions in here. Gears of War. I just finally got Gears of War Judgment, by the way. I I waited a while because of the mixed reviews, but I finally picked it up for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Because I was fuelizing the uh, Gears of War series. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think it's as bad as they say, but I got it for cheap, so that's probably why I'm easier on it. And some more collect I have a lot of collector's editions, honestly, in this. I always buy them. Some more. And some more. So let's turn this. More stuff, including uh, the Fable Anniversary, which is pretty cool. Remake of Fable 1. Uh, some more games, including the only Call of Duty games I like. You can see Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare 1, and Modern Warfare 2. Once Infinity War disbanded, I didn't really give a fuck about the series. And of course, all the Ass Creed games, pretty much, for 360. And then I bought three on PS3, and then I bought four on PS4. And here we start with my PS3 games up here. This I found at Goodwill, the Simpsons game, for like $3, so I picked it up. Um, some of my Tales of games, which I love that series, of course. I see my unboxings. My Last of Us Steelbook. Oh yeah, a couple more 360 over here. Aliens vs Predator Steel Book. Right, here's some more. And this is my Okami HD. This is the I, don't know, I think Asian import. That's in English. 
I like having games on a disc whenever possible rather than digital. And a couple more games, including my Force Unleashed one, Sith Ultimate Sith Edition for PS3. All the content on one disc is pretty nice. So yeah, I got a couple stickers on here. Metal Gear Rising, GTA 4, and an Xbox sticker that's clear. So you see the wood through it. All right, well, let's turn this. The lighting's better. This thing is heavy to turn, by the way. So many, it's packed with games, as you can see, to the brim. But uh, here's some of my Wii. Tenchu, Shadow Assassins. And up above here, if I can get it out, is my Wii Sports. I came with the Wii. Um, here's uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns. Great port. And of course, a lot of my 3DS games. As you can see there. Big Kid Icarus box. This is really great too. Oh, I can't pull it out. So I gotta like... Urgh. See, they're all jammed in there. But Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D is really great. Yeah, some great 3DS games. Here's my Wii, including this one's fairly rare, I believe. The Metroid Prime Trilogy with Steelbook. Got that day one, because I love that series. And more games. Silent Hill. And I finally had gotten all the uh, Resident Evil um, light gun shooters for Wii. Dark Side Chronicles and Umbrella Chronicles. So yeah, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I remember I played the import of this until... Oh, see, this is so hard to get out because like this is jammed up there, so I can't really get in there. So, yeah, it's Tatsunoko versus Capcom. Good fighting game. Wish they'd make more of those. And then Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, which I got the collector's edition for. I barely played it though because I haven't had time. And of course Xenoblade Chronicles. It's a great RPG, kind of rare now. And then up here I got two of my steel books that are full-size DVDs. So I have them spilling over. Assassin's Creed 3 Steelbook and Metal Gear Rising Steelbook. Okay. And then uh, some more PS3 down here, along with PS4. So yeah, Dark Sector and Lair. I got Lair super cheap, probably like two bucks, three bucks. Figured might as well get, you know, one of the PS3 exclusive games, even if it's not that great. And then my very small PS4 collection, which is ever growing. As Creed 4 Steelbook. Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, ground demos. Um, Thief, which is underrated in my opinion. It's got some issues, which they actually just patched it. But it's 8.5 out of 10 game in my opinion. Here's some of my PS3 games. This is a really great game. Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. Pretty much one of the best shooters last gen. And my Devil May Cry HD collection, Devil May Cry 4 Steelbook, Final Fantasy 13, Lightning Returns, Dragon's Crown is great, God of War collection, I still gotta get the uh, God of War Origins collection, and uh, GTA 5's Steelbook case, Max Payne 3 up there, Heavy Rain, Killzone, all the Killzone games for PS3. Okay, let's turn this one more time. And here's where all my handheld stuff is. And some of the spillover from Wii down here, as you can see. Ghost Squad, Light Gun Shooter. And Mad Dog McCree Collection. Cheesy FMV shooters, Wild West. And then, uh, I guess I'll start down here. So my DS, Metroid Prime Hunter is kind of mediocre. Mario 64 DS, Dragon Quest 9, Final Fantasy, Okami Den, Resident Evil. This is great and kind of rare, I believe. One of the best versions of Resident Evil 1 that isn't like the remake. 
in my opinion. It lets you, um, I think you can do the 180 degree turn and uh, I think you can skip the uh, loading animations on the doors and it has a reload button kind of like Resident Evil 4 so it's really nice to play. It has a lot of extras like touchscreen stuff. And of course I got the Zeldas for DS. There's some more handhelds up here. Uh, the start of my Vita collection, which I'll get to in a second. Aliens Infestation is awesome. Uh, Metroidvania kind of style of game in the Aliens universe. Very, very, very cool. I love that game. As a sequel to Blue Dragon on the DS, there was also a strategy RPG, but I got the uh, action RPG one, Awakened Shadow. And it's pretty cool. It has pretty nice graphics for DS. Continues the story. Blue Dragon was a great game on 360. And then, of course, I love Castlevania, so I got all the DS Castlevanias. Contra 4, Chrono Trigger, and all the Dragon Quest games that came to DS, because I love Dragon Quest ever since it was called Dragon Warrior on NES. And then Dragon Quest Heroes, Rocket Slime, Children of Mana, Metal Slug 7, and this neat slipcover thing. Alright, so here's my all star up here. Actually, do these go in? Huh, I guess if I got these all out of alphabetical order, I'll have to fix that. But uh, I'll start down here Mortal Kombat, Port, or It's a really nice upgraded version, better translation. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 1 and 2, Sigma Plus. Which two kind of has a lot of slowdown, but it's still pretty decent, and the graphics are kind of dumbed down from the console version, obviously. Persona 4 Golden, and I got the solid gold edition, but there's the case. I've got a second one as well, sealed. And then some more Shinobi Do 2, which is a great um, kind of a spiritual successor to Tenchu with more in-depth mechanics. I wish the first game would have came out for PS2 here. Uh, Uncharted, Golden Abyss, Ultimate, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which is nice to play portable. Ass Creed 3 Liberation, which is eh, really good technical showcase on the Vita, but pretty mediocre gameplay, honestly. Killzone Mercenary is one of the best games on Vita, in my opinion. It's just such high quality. Feels like a console shooter on a handheld. And Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, which is pretty cool. So, uh, let's start up here. My, uh, my PSP Collection. Woo! So, uh, here's Castlevania. Uh, Dracula X Chronicles. That's really great. I'll just get through these. It's kind of taking a while. Um, Final Fantasy Games. Tactics, God of War. I need to get the other God of War, Ghost of Sparta or whatever. Oh, yeah, Chains of Olympus. And GTA, Liberty City, and Vice City stories. Mega Man, Powered Up, the great remake of Mega Man 1. Really awesome. Uh, Metal Gear Acid, kind of interesting titles. And of course, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops and Peace Walker. And up there we got Ape Escape, which I got at Goodwill for really cheap. Brave Story, which was also at Goodwill, I believe. I haven't played it, though. Just grabbed it because it's an RPG. And Parappa the Rappa. Great PS1 game put on the PSP. And then over here, we got Silent Hill Origins. Decent Silent Hill game, but not as good as the original, obviously. Uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. I think it's one of the best versions of Alpha 3. Um, Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. Uh, Logan Shadow. Those are, those are great third person stealth shooters. I love the originals on PS1. Star Ocean, Second Evolution, and First Departure. Awesome, awesome action RPGs. 
Tactics Ogre, Let Us Cling Together. That is an awesome game. Great music, great story. It's one of the few like strategy RPGs I can actually get into. And uh, Parasite Eve 3, what is called The Third Birthday. Eh, it's, it's okay. It's not as good as the originals though. Got it for pretty cheap. And this is just hard as hell. Ultimate Go Ghosts and Goblins for PSP. Hardcore 2D action game. And Valkyrie Profile Leneth, the port of the first game from PS1. It's decent. I think it's got some issues though. So yeah, that's all of uh, this area. I guess I'll explain a little bit more about the rest of this. Um, well, as you can see, my laptop's over here. I don't use it much though because the GPU on it fried, so I can only use it for basic stuff like browsing. So I kind of just, you know, type and stuff on my uh, on my Twitch TV channel when I'm streaming since. You know, my TV is occupied, and by the way, it's a pretty awesome Bioshock background in the style of Disney. <laughs> so yeah, I'll use that. There's my uh, microphone's pop filter. So yeah, just use that for Twitch pretty much, or browsing while I'm gaming. And then down here, actually, I have two cables I should point out. Um, this is to charge my Vita, because... Uh, I use my Vita a lot here as well for Skyping or browsing or whatever when the TV's occupied. And then another charger here. This is for my phone, but uh, since it's micro USB, it also fits the, uh, the DualShock 4. So I don't have to have the cord stretch across the floor here to recharge my DualShock 4. So I just plug it in and can game endlessly. Because they do have a really short battery life, and uh, I think they're patching it tomorrow. So you can dim the light bar on it. Hopefully that increases the battery life. But anyways, um, that's the living room. See the same uh, GTA posters all over. I actually got a... Um, actually, let me show you. Oh, uh, this thing is so hard to turn. Urgh. Here's uh, Max Payne up at the top there. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got uh, this Grand Theft Auto V Complete Edition, and it has another GTA 4 poster on it. Because uh, the original GTA 4... Um, my 360 version. Where is it? This one has like a fold out map, but it doesn't have like the classic artwork like all these other ones did. So yeah, I gotta put that up. But yeah, that is it for the living room. I think I will cut away and show you guys my classic game room as well. Make this kind of a long video, but hope you guys are enjoying and keep watching. I'll be right back. Alright, hey everyone, welcome back to my collection update video, and here we're in my classic game room. Let's move this. But, uh, not much new in here, really. I haven't actually found too many new games, but, uh, I figured I'd update it since it's been like a year since I've done a video of this room. Um, let's see. I guess there's a few new additions. You can see, uh, Metal Gear Snake's Revenge up there for NES. Um, I got the Mila statue from Tales of Exilia, Collector's Edition. Um, I mean, all this the same, pretty much. Except I got the Ass Creed 4. And obviously this is where I film most of my vlogs, which, uh... Here's my tripod that I use, and this is my uh, microphone stand for when I do vocal covers. But yeah, I usually set this up and set the legs up so it's pretty high up, because I'm a tall guy. And uh, yeah, here's the shelves, you can see. 
and the recliner as usual. So as far as new games, uh, I don't know if I got too many. Um, I think this is probably new since the last time, Rogue Spear. I don't know, maybe I showed that, I can't remember. Unreal Gold Edition, the first Unreal. Um, Blood to the Chosen, which I got at Goodwill. And, uh, hmm, as far as, like, console games, I don't know if I've gotten anything really new, to be honest. Um... Yeah, I mean, you can check out my other video, but I guess I'll just kind of quickly go through the shelf here. So, uh, of course, the Metal Gear Shrine, which I did add these to the top here. The original Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty and document of Metal Gear Solid. And then the sealed Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I've got another one, which I'm probably going to give away on a contest here pretty soon. So, uh, and then my Sega shelf, which you've all seen, Sega CD, then some Saturn imports and Dreamcast are all up here. And, uh, then the actual Saturn long boxes up here. As usual, and this one's always covered in shadow. Virtua Fighter 2 Silver Box. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I got any new... I thought I got a new PS1 game, but I can't honestly remember what I had when I made the old video. But, uh... Let's just give you a look at it real quick. I'll pan through the stuff up here. stuff with lots of reflection on it and then we'll go through this hopefully you can pause the video and kind of see what games I have or maybe you'll just recognize actually I'll just do all these sideways like this so you can actually read them so we'll start up here go through everything just so this video is comprehensive and you see everything I have in this collection. Ooh, see lots of reflection there. Gotta watch out for that. And then I guess I'll run through these ones a bit closer so you can see. This one's um, Gundam Side Story 3. It's kind of hard to see. I did a video of that on my channel if you want to check it out. And then, okay. Sorry, this is kind of an awkward video. But if you have patience to watch like an hour long collection video, you probably don't mind. So, some more is the Dreamcast getting into. So yeah, that's all the Sega shelf, and then uh, 3DO and PS1, and the PS1, let's go through. This will probably be awkward, hard to see, but it is what it is. I'd have to spend a day showing you all these games, honestly, and talking about them. So if you guys want to talk about them... Go ahead and post in the comments any of these games you recognize. Tell me some of your memories with them. And which ones you got and which ones you enjoyed. It's all my cool borders games, which are kind of overflowing up here. Let's go through this. A lot of Star Wars games on PS1. Probably good to full screen the video during this part just because the text is so tiny on these PS1 games. Tales of Destiny 1 and 2, great games. Just so many here. Yep, great games. Okay, next shelf. 
We got PS2 shelf, Katamari, Kessen 3, which got a goodwill. Kingdom Hearts 1, which I've never beaten because I'm not really into that series that much. Never bought two. Melvana Front, or uh, not Frontline, Rising Sun. Which got at Goodwill. Really cheap, of course. Alright, let's just go through this shelf. Castlevania games, great. Contra, great PS2 games. Fatal Frame 3 for PS2 is really awesome. These are kind of redundant in the Final Fantasies because now I got the HD collection. Wish they do an HD collection of this one, uh, 12. But uh, God of War, which I don't really need because I got the HD collection. Gradius 3, 4, and 5, awesome games. All my old GTA games, Clean Liberty City Stories, the PSP port. I need Vice City Stories still. Ico, kind of pointless, got the HD. God Hand is still amazing, of course. Yeah, Manhunt original is pretty classic in my opinion. Mega Man Anniversary, Mega Man X. My Metal Gear Solid 1, the one in the tall box. And then 2 and 3, Substance and Subsistence. And Metal Slug Anthology is great. Mortal Kombat Shell and Monks is actually pretty fun. Nice action adventure game. Mortal Kombat Deception Collector's Edition. Onimusha, which is actually vertical for once. Um, that's Onimusha 1 through 3, and then Dawn of Dreams and Blade Warriors. Odin Sphere, and this is my Okami, which I changed the cover with the ones Capcom sent out. And Capcom sent these out when uh, the Wii version had a misprint cover. It had like an IGN watermark on it. So they sent out these alternate covers to people who bought it. So I put one, I got like three covers, so I put one of them on there and the rest are in storage, I believe. And we got Persona 3, Fez, Persona 4, Radiata Stories, pretty good RPG, Red Faction, Rogue Galaxy, which is awesome, but I haven't beaten it. I need to. I just have too many RPGs. R-Type Final. Uh, Samurai Show on Anthology, which is awesome. Shadow of the Colossus, which is awesome, but kind of redundant with the HD collection now. And Silent Hill Origins, the PSP collection. Okay. So, we got my 3DO games stacked up on top of more PS2 and GameCube. So we'll go through all these. Wing Commander, Super Wing Commander, and Wing Commander 3. Awesome games. Shockwave series, which was kind of a 3DO exclusive for a little while, and then it went to PS1. Although I think Shockwave 2 is still a 3DO exclusive. And some more 3DO. Star Control 2, kind of a rare-ish RPG for... It's kind of like the precursor to Mass Effect. Star Wars Rebel Assault, which I had a ton of videos up of the complete playthrough of this. But, um, the people that own the music to Star Wars flagged my video down for it just because just it had the music in it in the gameplay and I got strikes on my account and my account was warned for six months so you know what I'll never upload any Star Wars footage ever again fuck them and anyways Return Fire which uh, is great great um I don't know how you classify it. Vehicular combat strategy action game. Um, Blade Force, kind of a weird flying shooter. Um, then Way of the Warrior, of course. Got the long box. This is one of my most popular videos on my channel of all the fatalities. So, yeah, that's a copy I was playing. Supreme Warrior, uh, 3DO FMV fighting game. Yeah. So yeah, I got all the digital pictures, 3DO games, I believe. I, I don't think I'm missing any, but yeah. Sewer Shark is probably one of the best versions, in my opinion, of Sewer Shark. Some people don't like the music in this one, but I think it's superior to all the other ones, to be honest. Night Trap is probably another one of the best versions of it. And then Hell, a cyberpunk thriller. This is a weird game. It has... 
It's made by um, Take Two, the the GTA guys, and um, yeah, it's got Anthony Hopkins in it, which is pretty cool. Loved him in uh, Blue Velvet. Anyways, let's go through these PS2 games. Tales of series. I only have one Tekken game on PS2, which I'd like to change at some point. I gotta get um, Tekken, Tekken 4 and 5 on PS2. Tenchu Fatal Shadows is awesome. Sorry, this camera's kind of shaky while I'm doing this. Doing it one-handed. There we go. Xenosaga series. Uh, Zone of the Enders, which is kind of pointless now because I got the HD collection. And then here's my GameCube. 1080 Snowboarding is awesome. Well, it's 1080 Avalanche. And Eternal Darkness, great horror game. F-Zero GX, not my favorite F-Zero. I probably like F-Zero 64 the most, followed by the SNES original. And this one, like a distant third. Ikaruga, I like having a physical copy of that. Even though you can get it on Xbox Live Arcade. Killer7, really weird uh, Suda51 game. And my two Zelda games. I don't have the third... Um, Zelda collection with uh, Majora's Mask. Maybe one day I should get it. Metal Gear Solid, Twin Snakes, Metroid Prime, Paper Mario, great game. And I got every Resident Evil for GameCube, as you can see, including 4. And I do have the red metal case for 4, but it's probably put away somewhere. And Sonic DX. Sonic Adventure DX. I'd like to get Sonic Adventure 2 as well. Uh, Star Fox Adventure is kind of a weird, rare mashup of platforming adventure and Star Fox. And Star Fox Assault, which is kind of shitty in my opinion. It's made by Namco. Uh, it just doesn't feel like Star Fox. And these are great games. Star Wars, Rogue Squadron, or yeah, Rogue Squadron, uh, Rogue Leader, whatever. Rebel Strike, Mario Sunshine is a classic. That'd be nice to get like an HD version on uh, Wii U. I'd probably buy one for that. Uh, Tales of Symphonia, still a decent version even though the HD collection's out. Just because the GameCube original runs 60 frames a second and the, the new PS3 HD one only runs 30 frames. But it does have all the extras from the PS2 port. And I believe the PS2 port also ran 30 frames per second, so it's so the PS3 version is not exactly worse. It's just a port of the PS2. And then we got Beautiful Joe 1 and 2, and Beautiful Joe Red Hot Rumble, which is the four-player fighting game. Kind of like Smash Brothers, I believe, with Beautiful Joe characters. Got that at Goodwill pretty cheap. And Wave Race Blue Storm is one of my favorite games on the GameCube. It's just, I love the original on N64, and this is just a totally improved version of the same thing. Okay, uh, next under here we got some more 3DO. <laughs> Escape from Mon Monster Manor is pretty horrible Doom clone in a woo haunted house setting. And Twisted the Game Show is pretty weird. Um, it's obviously a game show type of game. A lot of weird FMV in it and weird 90s humor, I guess. And Patonk, the first 3D pinball thrill ride. So yeah, you're like a you're like a little uh looks like a flying saucer for a pinball and you're flying around the the pinball course or whatever. And then I guess I'll go start going through these first. My Xbox original. Can't call it Xbox One anymore because Microsoft. Wanted to do a stupid fucking name. Anyways, Breakdown is pretty cool. Um, exclusive still. First person combat. Conquer, Live and Reloaded. Uh, let's just keep going. Dead or Alive. There's the Ultimate. Dead or Alive 3 and Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball, the original. Fap, fap, fap. <laughs> um, Deus Ex Invisible War. It's okay. Dawn Crisis 3 was horrible. And Doom 3 and Resurrection of Evil. 
Got the uh, steel book. Well, it's not really a steel book of Doom 3. It's a fake steel book. Uh, Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind Game of the Year, Fable, uh, Lost Chapters, Far Cry Instincts, and a great um, Fatal Frame 1 and 2 ports to the Xbox Original. They got extras. And I think they just announced Fatal Frame 5. It sucks Fatal Frame 4 never came out to the U.S. Wii's. That pissed me off. Um... Genma Onimusha, upgrade version of Onimusha 1. Gun Valkyrie, pretty interesting arcade shooter. Uh, Halo series, Hitman, which is kind of pointless because I got the HD collection. Indigo Prophecy, the censored Fahrenheit, basically. Uh, Jet Set Radio Future, sequel to Jet Grind Radio or Jet Set Radio. Uh, Jade Empire, uh, one of my best friends loves this game. I never beat it though. Um, Max Payne 1 and 2. Max Payne 2 is probably one of my favorite games that generation. Mercenaries. The first Mercenaries. Way better than Mercenaries 2 in my opinion. And it takes place, I think, on the North Korean border. So it's kind of a cool setting. Miss 3. Exile and Miss 4. Really cool adventure games. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Black. One of the best versions of Ninja Gaiden 1. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, which has an HD version on PSN, I believe. And Stranger's Wrath, which got ported HD collection to a bunch of different platforms. And Otogi 1 and 2 are kind of a cult classic. I never really got into them, though. I didn't really see the appeal. They just seem too simplistic to me. I like games with really deep combat. Um, Panzer Dragon Orta, pretty good. Um, not the best Panzer Dragoon, but very pretty. Uh, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. This is one of the best versions of Sands of Time. Not only because the, as far as the console version, it has the best graphics, but um, this is the only one that has unlockable Prince of Persia 1 and 2, the classic 2D versions. The other, um, the other versions of Sands of Time don't have that extra, so that's cool to have. PsyOps is actually a really cool uh, action, third-person action shooter, psychic power. Uh, it's made by the people who did Stranglehold on 360 and PS3. So it's kind of similar in a way, just all-out mayhem and destruction. Red Faction 2, not as good as the original, but still pretty fun. Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Console versions had some extras, some extra levels, I believe. Maybe extra enemies, even. And uh, you can unlock the original Wolfenstein 3D on there. So that's cool. Uh, second site is from the people who did Time Splitters. It's a third person, kind of like uh, PsyOps, but it's like it's more like Time Splitters. Um, Shenmue 2, what can you say about that? Wish they'd make Shenmue 3. God damn it! Anyways, uh, Silent Hill 2, Restless Dreams version. It's pretty good. Um, it has a few little frame rate hitch issues, but um, it's decent. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Outcasts, Jedi Knight 2. More games I can't upload to fucking YouTube because when I tried to upload gameplay of it, they muted the whole audio of my clips. So I'm just like boycotting uploading any Star Wars footage. Fuck you. Fuck you, Lucas Film or whatever. Who the Well, it's mostly the fucking composer of some of the songs that's like flagging videos on YouTube. Fucking asshole. And more Star Wars games, Knights of the Republic, which are getting retconned now, apparently with the new films. They're cutting out all the expanded universe stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of disgusted with Star Wars lately. I used to love it, and now it just disgusts me with stupid corporate greed bullshit. Yeah, okay, anyways. Uh, Stubbs the Zombie, Rebel Without a Pulse. Uh, made by the former, some former Halo developers that left Bungie at the time. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Zom where he plays a zombie, and you infect other people, and it's really comedic with, like, 1950s, 1940s style art and music. It's pretty cool. Uh, Tenchu Return from Darkness, it's a port of Tenchu 3 to the Xbox original, and it had extra levels and 
other extra equipment and stuff. It's a really great version. Too bad you can't play it online anymore because it had really cool online. And Thief Deadly Shadows, pretty decent Thief game. Uh, Time Splitters 2 and Time Splitters Future Perfect. Really cool shooters. I like Time Splitters uh, 2 more than Future Perfect. And then we got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three, Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Chaos Three, and that's kind of steel book. I can't get it out. It's so packed in there. And then uh, we got Splinter Cell Double Agent, which is actually different from the 360 and PS3 version. It's more like Chaos Theory with its engine and gameplay. So I prefer this one. It's great. Really underrated. And then we got some more Xbox original up at the top here, which I packed in here really tight. I've got another copy of Chaos Theory because I had gotten the Steelbook version down here. So, I don't know. Maybe if I ever get another Xbox One, or Xbox Original, I should say, I could use these two copies and play the co-op system link. That would be kind of cool. Anyways, got the original Half-Life 2 port to Xbox Original, which is pretty terrible looking nowadays, but at the time it was pretty amazing to have it on a console. And then you got the original Chronicles of Riddick, Escape from Butcher Bay. Really amazing graphics at the time. And then I got this at Goodwill, Black. It's a really action-y shooter. I think it's made by the people who did the, the Burnout games, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's really crazy. Really good graphics for that generation. I got the Xbox original port of Mel Slug 3. Ninja Gaiden, and that's the original Ninja Gaiden. And I got Driver uh, Parallel Lines, which that's kind of mediocre, but I got it for like three bucks at Goodwill. And let's see what else we got. Samurai Shot on five, and Project Gotham Racing, which looks like it still has the Goodwill sticker on it. Yeah. $3.99. That's usually what all their Xbox and PS2 games cost there. Sneak King, the Burger King stealth game, which I got with a meal, because I it was a running joke on the internet at the time, so I'm like, oh I gotta get that. And Star Wars Clone Wars, and it also has Tetris World, so it's a dual pack. And then Blinks the Time Sweeper, kind of a weird Xbox, Xbox uh, original platforming game. And then I've got the Castlevania Curse of Darkness for Xbox since I collect every Castlevania game I can get my hands on. Okay, I'll just go through this really quick because this video is getting kind of long. Castlevania, awesome. R-Type 3, kind of banged up box, but really rare game. Star Fox 2 reproduction, awesome. All the Super Star Wars games, really awesome. Um, X Men, this is a nice Capcom beat 'em up. I think it's exclusive to SNES. And then here's some of my N64 boxed. Castlevania Legacy of Darkness is really good. Mission Impossible. Paper Mario, Pilot Wings, Resident Evil 2, Star Wars Battle for Naboo, Shadows of the Empire, and all these. Okay. I got a huge pile of games, just this is this overflow right here. Look at all that shit. Here's the uh copy of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater I'm going to give away. I'll probably give away this as well. Portable Ops. But, uh, here's all my N64. Just pull these out and show them. 1080. Banjo-Kazooie. Body Harvest. Doom 64. Duke Nukem 64. Zero Hour, Duke Nukem, Zelda, 
Majora's Mask. Don't have the hologram one, unfortunately, or lenticular, or whatever it's called. Perfect Dark, the original, but I play the Xbox Live arcade version because it has better frame rate and graphics. Quake 64, original Quake, missing some levels, but still decent. Quake 2 is all new levels, designed for N64. Uh, Star Fox 64, which I usually play the 3DS one now. So, so superior to that one, but it's still, the old one's still a classic. And then there's my original Rogue Squadron Star Wars, which I don't have a box for, unfortunately. Episode 1 Racer. I don't play too much. A lot of people love that game, but I never got into it. Uh, Super Mario 64, classic. Turok, Dinosaur Hunter, kind of a classic. I don't know who you ask. <laughs> Turok 2, it's pretty good, but it hasn't aged well because the frame rate's really horrible. And the controls are pretty bad. Zelda, Karin of Time, with really starting to get a faded label, but it is the gold cart, and this is the uncensored one that has the red blood when you kill Ganon rather than green. We got my Earthbound cart only, unfortunately. It's not like I'm gonna pay a thousand dollars to get the box with it. Uh, Super Metroid, great classic. I had all these uh, SNES games that use save batteries replaced. And Star Fox original. Don't have a box for it. I wish I did. And uh, Super Mario RPG. No box for that. But I did get the battery replaced. And Mortal Kombat 1, the censored Mortal Kombat 1, which is kind of a odd thing to have. And then I got some uh, Virtual Boy Mario Tennis. And then Red Alarm, kind of a Star Fox wannabe. Tolero Boxer, kind of really hard game, and then I got uh, Dragon Warrior 3, or Dragon Quest 3, as it's now called, and I also got the battery in this replaced, so you can save, continue to be saved for another 8 or 10 years, hopefully, and then there's just so much shit here, I'm just going to go through the side, I guess, so... There you go. A lot of Blu-ray movies and some overflow of like PS2 games that I don't have room for. You see I have another copy of Time Splitters 3, which I might give away as well since I don't need a second copy. And then my um, Metal Gear Saga Volume 1. And you can see here, got Nice Little Republic on PC, Hitman 1 for PC. Project Ega, or I'm Going In, and then Aliens vs. Predator 2, the Gold Edition, which I found at Goodwill, so that's cool, and my Lord of the Rings trilogy on DVD, and you can see stuff here piled up, StarCraft 2, Wings of Liberty, and StarCraft Battle Chest, my old Deus Ex Human Revolution Collector's Edition, my Diablo Battle Chest, which I've been playing Diablo 1 a lot with the Beelzebub HD patch. And that's pretty cool. It adds back in a bunch of the missions or well, quests that they cut out of the game originally. And then we got my tall Jedi Knight box. Just bring these out. Star Wars Phantom Menace. Rainbow Six Rogue Spear. I guess I'll take these off for a second. And then um, behind this, some games I never play. That's why there's stuff back here. Madden Football for 3DL. Got that for super cheap back in the day. And Need for Speed Pro Street, which I've never even installed. Someone gave it to me. Don't really care about racing games usually. Anyways, uh, see this is just, this is just a mess, fucking mess. Ugh, I have to organize this again. Yeah, mostly PC games here that I already have installed, I don't need to touch. And then you can see here, kind of more just overflow type games. 
Doom 3 BFG edition for PS3. Terrible version, so it's here, never to be played. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, my collector's edition, as you can see. Which I don't really play that version because I have the ultimate version on Vita. Persona 3, the only reason it's in here is because the box is really big and I'm running out of space in the living room. And Lunar Silver Star Harmony, also awesome, but big box. And Blaze Blue, the original Calamity Trigger, Collector's Edition, which is just too big of a box. And I put uh, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World in here for Wii, because I have the HD version now. Indigo Prophecy. So yeah, I have this on both Xbox Original and PS2, because I found this at Goodwill, so I picked it up but not really a point of having it out to play. And the original SSX, which I got for cheap at Goodwill. Twin Peaks Firewalk with me. Great great movie, love Twin Peaks. Uh, Nine Inch Nails and all that could have been. Concert DVD. Uh, Ministry Tapes of Wrath. KMFDM. Um, oh yeah, that's Beat by Beat. It's a live DVD and it has all their music videos from like 90s to 80s and this is like a optical disc cleaner and then down here I just got Miss 5 End of Ages which is still PC exclusive Far Cry 1 the the 5 CD version or 6 CD version and the Doom 3 CD version Doom 3 is good to have because it's highly moddable there's really cool mods to use. And I guess we'll just go through this. Here's my um, Nine Inch Nails Blu-ray. Another version of The Truth during their Lights in the Sky tour. It's fan-made, but it's really high quality. This guy has soundtrack. This is just a bunch of different stuff. I guess I'll show this. I got my Chrono Trigger 2 two songs on the soundtrack as you can see well, you know, it's blurry but there you go it's only two tracks but I got this for free at GameStop My Resident Evil 0 preview disc which is kinda interesting Resident Evil 4 bonus disc that came with the game and it's just got music from the fucking Resident Evil movies which I don't care about and Castlevania Order of Ecclesia soundtrack. It's not the full soundtrack, but it's cool. Collector's piece to have. And anyways, let's keep going. You got Sonic Adventure. Unfortunately, this is complete in mint condition. I'll show you the disc. But back in the day when this first came out, um, there was mis uh, well, I don't want to say misprint, but just errors in printing these discs and some of these discs just don't work and this is one of them that d doesn't work finally at Goodwill I'm like oh sweet Sonic Adventure 1 but it doesn't work so if anyone has like a disc only Sonic Adventure that they'd be willing to donate I'd appreciate it because I got a case but the disc does not work so that sucks okay and then here I've got an extra copy of Silent Hill 1 disc only I've got actually three copies, two there and then one up there. And then I've got Wing Commander 1 for Sega CD. Interesting version with different voice acting than the other versions. And I don't have a case. I, I do have the instruction manual though. It's put away. And then I got some more jewel case games. I don't like having many games in jewel cases as you can see. These are the only ones I have. Off World Interceptor. And Samurai Showdown, which I did have this new back in the day when 3DO was out, but the box got destroyed and probably the manual got all ripped up, so this is all I have. And the disc is pretty scratched up. It's hard to see through this, but it, the disc is pretty bad. Anyways, let's go through the rest of these. And yes, this is a really long video. This is going to be like an hour long. Guardian War, pretty decent strategy RPG for 3DO. Here's another copy of Flashback. This one I didn't have the long box anymore, so I had made its own spine and everything. And it does have the instructions, but a blank back. But then recently I went and picked it up with the long box again, because it's one of my favorite games ever. At least 2D platformer games, because I love 
any games that use rotoscope animation like Prince of Persia and Out of This World and stuff. Here's the horrible, horrible version of Doom 1 for 3DO. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. And then Mist, the original PC one, which doesn't really run on every computer. And War Gods, I found that at Goodwill. I have the long box for it and everything. It's the PC version. Carmageddon 2, pretty cool. Duke Nukem 3D and Duke Zone levels. It's back in the day when they would sell a million like level discs. So many different levels. Shadow Warrior. I believe this is... I want to say... I thought this was... Oh no! I had a censored one that said it was like a, the censored version. But then I found another one that's uncensored, so I leave that one out. You got one unit whole blood and blood two, which I showed. Quake one and Quake two, classics. Uh, of course, I showed that. Earthworm Jim, the Windows version, which I'm not sure if it runs on Windows 8. Rogue Spear and uh, one of the expansions for it. I think there was three Rogue Spear expansions. And I've got two other disc copies of StarCraft one. Uh, why? This is what I had before I found the actual complete battle chest packaging. So I still have them up there. Aliens vs. Predator Gold Edition, which doesn't run very well on modern systems, so I just play the Steam version, which has controller support and widescreen support. This one is pretty fun, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, but unfortunately it doesn't run on modern systems, or at least you can't install it on modern systems. So, yeah, I have to play it on my old PC, which is over there. Uh, which I'll get to in a second. This video is so long. I got two more disc. Well, I do have the box for this, obviously, but I leave these out. I think I got two copies of this, actually. So these two I leave out to use without having to pull the box out. And then Uru, Ages Beyond Mist. This was originally going to be the multiplayer one, but they separated it into a single player game. So yeah, that's that's this section really long video so I guess I'll go through this as well you can see Midnight Raiders Sega CD FMV shooter this guy Aladdin Contra Hardcore NBA Jam Tournament Edition Sonic 2 Street Fighter 2 what is that Special Champion Edition so many editions of that and Tecmo Super Bowl. I love Tecmo Bowl games, even though I don't like sports games that much. But that was a classic for me as a child. I played it so much, so I got good memories of it. At least the NES version. Never played the Genesis one till now. And yeah, got uh, obviously my face hugger. Metal Gear, Snake's Revenge, Contra 1, Super C. And this is, of course, Dungeons and Dragons collection for. It's like a Saturn import. Lunar complete. Lunar 2 complete. Beautiful Joe over. Operation C, Wario Land, Vance Guardian Heroes, Castlevania. It's a Harmony of Dissonance and Aria of Sorrow. This has got kind of a crease in it. This kind of bugs me. But, uh, I got Smooth Mila. And then Final Fantasy 1 and 2, Dawn of Souls, Final Fantasy 4, Advance, Final Fantasy 5 and 6, Advance, Tactics, Advance, Horrible Version of Lunar 1, Lunar Legends, and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. This one's sealed. I've got an unsealed one that I play my Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Player startup disc and then of course you got Metal Slug Advance Metroid Fusion, Metroid Zero Mission, those are great games Sword of Mana, Tales of Fantasia Zelda Minish Cap 
And of course, my Club Nintendo Platinum Playing Cards. Club Nintendo Game & Watch Ball Recreation. And my Game Boy Pocket. This is the first gen version without the power light on it. And my one of one of my three Game Boy Advance SPs that I have. I kept finding these at Goodwill for some reason. It's just weird. And then my old DS Fat with the DS Rumble Pack. Kind of interesting. So yeah, that's that shelf. Let's put all these guys back in position. Three bubble bobble heads here. Woo! Normal Joe and beautiful Joe. And then of course my collector's editions. And all my Ass Creed figures. Ass Creed 2, Ass Creed 3, Connor, and uh, Ass Creed 4 as I showed. And here's collector's editions I have. Bioshock. Last of Us Survival Edition, Zone of the Enders HD Collection, and this is actually, let me show this. I you can see that. It's the uh, Fallout at New Vegas Collector's Edition. It's got some pretty neat items in it. And then uh, the Fallout 3. Collector's Edition, Alan Wake, Aliens vs. Predator with another face hugger. Because these face huggers would break a lot. You can see this one's kind of wearing down. It's got the wire sticking out of it. So I had sent for a replacement. And they sent me like two different replacements. So I have three of them now. I got my Bioshock 1 Collector's Edition, which is pretty rare, I believe. Big Daddy in there. I don't want to take him out. I don't want it to break. And then, let's move this out of the way for a bit. Dead Rising 2, Zombrax Edition, Resident Evil 5, Collector's Edition. There's my, uh, you can kind of see it through there, my Resident Evil 4 uh, metal cased one. Persona 4 Golden, which I have a sealed copy. My uh, Lost Planet 1 uh, mech. Whatever it's called, I forget what its name was. And then um, back here, my Metal Gear Rising Revengeance art book. And this is, I believe I showed this stuff. This is a Metal Gear Solid 3 thing from TGS, promo thing. And I got a Watch Dogs cell. And you can kind of see the Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots art book. But yeah, pretty cool. This video is really long. I got more retro game stuff to show than my current gen room. Here's my Muramasa um, wall scroll, which is still sealed. And another Metal Gear Solid 3 collector's item from TGS, which my friend Giuliano gave me. So I still thank him for that. It's an amazing item. And down here, here I've got my other PS Vita case, the Persona 4 Golden one. Got my Dragon Quest Slime Controller for PS2. As you can see, it has all the buttons, the cords like buried in my... Where... Oh, that's weird. Those are like, one's darker than the other. I wonder if that was intentional or a defect. There's my little plushie. I think this came with uh, Dragon Quest IX pre-orders, maybe at GameStop. My Muramasa Vita Collector's Edition. And uh, here's some art books I have. Don't Me Cry 4 came with pre-orders. Condemned 2 Bloodshot came with pre-order. Got two of those. Here's I found this at Goodwill. Nice little guide for Peace Walker. Good for quick referencing. Persona 4. This is the original per Persona 4 strategy guide. And then Lunar Silver Star Harmony. That's the PSP version's guide. Okay. And then we got more strategy guides. Let's go through Alan Way Collector's Edition. 
you can read these yourself, but uh, Fallout 3 Collector's Edition, Fallout New Vegas Collector's Edition. I love hard book guides, but I'm running out of I'm running out of space for all these, so I don't really buy them anymore. Fallout Fantasy 10 and 10-2. 10-2 is the Collector's Edition guide. Fallout Fantasy 12 guide right there. You can't see the label though. Fallout Fantasy 13 uh, Collector's Edition guide. And then let's move this slime. There is my um, Metal Gear Solid 4 hardcover. Uh, it doesn't really call it Metal Gear Solid 4. Just says the complete official guide. And then Metal Gear Rising Collector's Edition Guide. Resident Evil 5 Collector's Edition Guide. Let's see some of these as well. This is an unofficial Resident Evil 2 guide, but it's really good. Perfect guide, it's called. And then I got a Shenmu 2 guide, which my best friend Ryan uh, gave to me, I believe. Or maybe I found that one. A lot of these guides were given to me by my friend Ryan, so I should uh, thank him for a lot of these. And then got a couple Silent Hill guys. So, well, only one. I thought I had more. I guess Silent Hill 4 is the only guy I have. Uh, I want to get more. Star Ocean First Departure, Second Story. This is the PS1 version. But it probably works fine for the PSP version because they're the same. Star Ocean till the end of time and the last hope. So I have every Star Ocean guide. So then uh, let's see Star Wars, Knights of the Republic one guide, Mario sixty four. No, that's not official. It's unauthorized guide. But I do have an official Super Paper Mario guide. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, Abyss, Symphonia Guide, Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, which I think I found at Goodwill. Oh no, oh no, I think my friend Ryan sent me that one. But then the Skyrim one I found at Goodwill. And Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess Guide, I think I got that for free from Nintendo for some reason. And then the... Uh, the uh, Phantom Hourglass Zelda Guide. This is the pre premier, premier version. There was also a hardcover one, but I just got that one. Uh, Valkyrie Profile Lenith and Silmaria Guides. My kind of banged up Xenogears Guide. Xenosaga, Episode 1. And then Episode 2 Collector's Edition Guide. And then, which fell apart. It's It was really horribly made and just fell apart in my hands for no reason. And Xenosaga Episode 3. So then, I think I showed you a lot of my art books up here. I'll just pull them out one more time in case you guys haven't seen my other video. Eternal Poison, which I don't have this game, but they gave me the, the art book at GameStop because they had extras. So I took that off their hands. Batman Arkham City, the comic book that came with when I ordered it on Amazon. Um, Bionic Commando. This was like a pre-order bonus. or It might have been like only for managers at GameStop. But I knew the managers well. So they just gave it to me. Because they knew I was into it. And then this is the Fear 3. Or no, not Fear 3. Fear 2. Um, kind of art book, information backstory type of guide as you can see a lot of cool stuff in there fear 2 is okay not the best though um okay and then we got yeah see all my art books are up here so i guess the rest of these i don't have to pull out because you can kind of see the labels we got the red faction gorilla handbook art of xenosaga episode 3 that is Dragon's Crown art book, which I showed my unboxing. Persona 4, the PS2 version's art book, visual data it's called. Art of Tales of Symphonia and Art of Tales of Legendia. I got a Kingdom Hearts strategy guide. Uh, Fear One guide, which my friend Ryan gave me. He worked at GameStop and they would, you know, 
normally throw the guides in the dumpsters, so he'd call me up and tell me he had a guide, and I'd be like, yeah, save me that one. He gave me this one, too, the Chinatown Warriors Grand Theft Auto. Mist, the original Mist guide. I think I found that at Goodwill. And Saints Row is another one Ryan donated to me. So, yeah, nice guy. And then just a mess of books down here. And then uh, I guess I'll go through this as well. So I don't believe I've gone completely through this box before. Here's my video games live. Um, I don't know, it was just like a postcard they had when I went to see them. See, I forget what year that was. It might have been like 2011, maybe 2010. It might have been 2011. But I got um, Jack Wall's autograph. I got Tommy Telerico's autograph. And I forget what this guy's name is, but he's Morty. He's the guy that did some piano covers of Zelda or something. Something like that. He played there. And I got... These are just extra Parasite Eve and Final Fantasy eight books. And I just kind of stuffed in here. So these are some, like, registration cards that I just had in here. And this is my plane ticket. When I went to Tortola, I don't know why I kept that, just to remember it. Uh, here's a Tactics Ogre that came with the PSP game. It's a bunch of, uh, like, uh, collector's cards, or uh, tarot cards. Here's a Castlevania. Uh, classic Simon figure that came with Dracula X Chronicles. That's pretty neat. A Halo 2 lenticular card. Let's see, it shifts. There's a Dishonored sticker that came with a Play Asia pre-order I did, and a Bioshock Infinite sticker. Here's my Wing Commander, Sega CD instructions, Knights in the Dreams instructions, because I only have the dual, jewel case. Here's my Star Fox uh, SNES instruction manual, but it's missing the cover. Fortunately, the underside is another cover. And Zelda Link to the Past manual, even though I don't have the SNES game. I only have it on Game Boy Advance. And a lot of my um, N64 manuals, I don't have the boxes for these games. It's a Virtual Boy thing. And some more, some more Virtual Boy um, manuals, as you can see. Red Alarm and Tolero Boxer. Here's an, another Play Asia sticker they sent me. I think that's when I got Okami HD or something. Here's my Tales of the Abyss uh, cell. Laser cell. I don't know if these are numbered. It just says it's limited to 24,000. I think I got that with a pre order. Here's my Metroid Other M art book or whatever. And then Bionic Commando patch set. I got two of these. And they also got the new Bionic Commando as well as the old. And then oh, here's my. Um, Ninja Gaiden, Dragon Sword, Katana Stylus for DS. So then, here's my um, Philharmonic Fort Wayne for uh, Video Games Live with the same autographs on it again. Jack Wall, Tommy Tolerico. Here's just my um, Tortola. <laughs> um, Ticket stub. Here's uh, some more ticket stubs. Rasputina I saw live. I saw Ministry live. I saw Marilyn Manson live, which is it's kind of faded. There you go. I saw him two times actually back in the day. Here's a second Ministry ticket stub. Perfect Circle. Great band. My favorite bands ever. Skinny Puppy when I saw them. One of the best shows I've seen. And this is just came with one of my Metal Gear Solid figures, Spawn.com. And just one little thing I thought I'd slip into this video. Uh, I forgot. Uh, another box with some gaming merchandise here. Uh, this here is a Tenchu 
bandana. It's pretty shitty, but it was pre-order version. You can see Ricky Maru right there. And Ayani. I think this was for the Wii game. But uh we got some more stuff. We got some Sonic Chronicles stylus pens. And here's my um Bionic Commando um lanyard. You can see it's got the symbol there and then the new Bionic Commando. And then uh here's my Castlevania. Where one of the DS ones came with this, like has like oh yeah, Portrait of Ruin. It's got a bunch of little collector's items, a timeline, art book, soundtrack. So as you can see. This is a really nice free bonus. It's really nice. Anyways. And here got one of these uh Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 UMD PSP cases. The Shinra design. <laughs> My Kasumi Ninja headband that came with the Atari game that I ordered new. Oh, I went to a Dave and Buster's in Washington, D.C., so I kept the card for some reason. It's kind of like an arcade slash bar. Here's a Metal Gear Solid 1 snake figure. This is, um, says, let's see if it focuses in on that. Special edition figure from Toy Fair 1999, I think. My friend Giuliano sent this to me. So I'm keeping it in there. And then this is a Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker camo bandana. As you can see. That was a pre-order item as well at GameStop, I believe. And here's um, this Ninja Gaiden... Dragon Sword stylus pen that's sealed. Got the unsealed one as well. And this is kind of weird. Uh, Return of the Jedi wide vision cards. This one's Empire Strikes Back. And another Empire Strikes Back. These are kind of cool cards. In, like widescreen format, I guess. I'm trying to pull one out of here. Hold on. There we go. Come on, look who it is. Boba Fett. So they're just little scenes from the movies. So they're pretty neat cards. But uh, anything else in here? Nope. Just some pictures. Yeah. Oh. And then uh, I went to the International Spy Museum in Washington D.C. That was pretty cool. Had some really um cool spy stuff that remind me of like Metal Gear and Splinter Cell and shit. So yeah, that's it. So I'll continue the video. So anyways, this video is getting really long, so we'll go ahead and show this again. The setup's pretty much the same up here. Uh, JVC XI, 3DO, Virtual Boy. I don't know if I showed this change switch box. I've, I've got like let me see if I can move these. I got I put some new speakers up here. These are really nice. They're uh, Bose speakers. They sound really nice for stereo uh, retro games. And you can see this one switch box has labels Saturn, 3DO, Jaguar, and SNES. And this one's labeled Xbox, PS2, GameCube, Dreamcast, and other. The other is to switch over to this one. And then I've got a third one, which I haven't utilized yet. So it would give me about three more after I daisy chain it. It's four, but one of them would have to be the daisy chain uh, input. So if I got more retro systems, I could switch through more of them. So yeah. Um, so my posters, Shadow of the Colossus, Silent Hill 1, Silent Hill 4, Castlevania, Resident Evil 4. Doom 3, Manhunt 2, Gears of War, Bionic Commando, Chuck Norris. <laughs> okay, you got um, Xbox Original. And uh, one thing I picked up, I don't know if I showed this, found this at Goodwill. The old Duke controller. <laughs> it's a beast. It does fit my hands though, so that's good. Sounded uh, sexual, but okay. 
Okay, so open this up. This is pretty much the same. You got Dreamcast with uh, the four times official memory card and the Rumble Pack. And then the PS2 with a weird two times memory card in there. Um, it's a slim. I'd like to get a fat one at some point. Here's another memory card case. So I've got tons of PS1 memory cards because you need a ton of those. They just hold so little. There's another stack of PS1 and PS2 memory cards. Here's my Jaguar with Zool 2 in it. Here's my um, Saturn, of course, with the action replay cart for imports. Here's the um, Model 2 controller. I have a Model 1 controller as well. And the official memory cart, but I got a sticker on it uh, from the Magic Knight Ray Earth import. And then there's my GameCube with a uh, Game Boy Player underneath controller. And a couple different colored N64 controllers with, this has an extension cable. And uh, this is a nice rumble pack, which I think I've shown before. It's an Intec, and it doesn't need batteries, which is one nice thing. The other nice thing, it's got this little switch on it, as you can see, where it says memory and rumble. So you can use it as a memory card as well. So it's a nice all-in-one device. For anyone who likes N64, you should look that up. It's really good. And then got a golden eye in there, of course. And I do have an expansion pack, but it's weird. It's an off it's an off-brand blue expansion pack. But it works. And then again, my Sanyo 27-inch S Video TV. But the, the speakers failed on it, that's why I have these externals now. So I'm always scouring uh, Goodwill to find another 27 inch TV. I'd like to find one that's like kind of modern where it has component inputs but still works with like light gun shooters. So that'd be good. Then of course, yes, my jumble of stuff under here. Two Konami Justifiers, Virtua Cop, Big Box. Time Crisis 2, and all the crazy controllers and light guns in there, which I've gone through, I believe, in the past. Here's just some of my AC adapters all plugged in. Here's my original PS1, whoops, which uh, there's a few games that only work on PS1, so I just keep it around whenever I need it. And this is just a loose Sega Saturn extension cable and my controller. So, I guess that's pretty much it. Figures, Prey figures, Doom 3 Baron of Hell, Halo guys, trippy like glass piece from Oregon, and uh, Street Fighter 4 Ryu. My Metal Gear uh, Rising, if this is plugged in, yeah it is, gotta love that shit, Riding Sword, old Mario statue, Super Mario Brothers, with, with a yellow bullet bill for some reason, and uh, yeah, Chuck Norris, Then I've got this Samsung 4x3 monitor, it's a CRT. It's good for retro PC games, which is the only reason I have this beast down here. Windows XP machine. So, I got some little speakers I found at Goodwill. This desk is kind of a mess, but I play a couple classic games that run better on Windows XP. And finally, just my SNES and NES. And Dragon Warrior 1's in there, as usual. And uh, some extra boxes of different stuff and this is kind of my toy collection here you can see one of those uh, what are they called tiger games it's a dragon warrior 2 or not dragon uh, double dra double dragon 2 <laughs> I've got a lot of like aliens toys in there and shit terminator stuff like that maybe I'll do like a collection video of those one day and then just this closet in here is just kinda 
boxes with overflow of game stuff that I keep stored. And like system boxes are all up there. And this is kind of cool. I don't know if I showed this. This is my, uh, some people might appreciate this. You can see. It's a Double May Cry 3 cloth wall scroll. Which I'd like to find a place to hang because it's so cool, but I'm just keeping it. That's, uh, I don't know if anyone's remember that from like the 80s, 90s, and Armatron. <laughs> so, just some cables and photo album. So yeah, I guess that's it. This retro game room video was an hour long. So this is going to be like an hour and 20 minute video. So that is it for my updated um, cl classic game room and current gen game room. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you made it all the way through this video, <laughs> I kind of doubt many people did. But if you did, uh, go ahead and like the video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd much appreciate it. And keep watching for more gaming content. Alright, later guys.